my channel my name is tan if it's your first time here hey girl hey and if you're a returning subscriber then thanks for coming back so today is tuesday wig day wig day tuesday tuesday wig day <laughs> today's wig is from outre it is in the perfect hairline collection in the style danita and in the color dr2 ginger brown so if you want to see how the wig looks my thoughts and opinions on the wig then just keep watching now I lost the clip of showing the cap construction but it's your standard cap construction two combs in the front one comb in the back and the elastic band but it also came with that faux scalp that later I cut out <laughs> quick intermission um okay she's cute she's she's cute I think she's workable but Number one, the texture. I wasn't expecting this texture. It's not necessarily a silky texture, but it's not necessarily a yakky texture either. I feel like it's more of a, um, when we get our hair freshly either hot combed or flat ironed, that's what I'm feeling. Like, not necessarily perm. I think it's more so of a like, you know, you just got your, your, your natural and you just got your hair yeah hot combed or flat iron that's what it's giving the color i do think the color is pretty it's giving off more of a not necessarily a ginger brown to me it more so looks just like a brown brown but i don't know i could be wrong um the baby hairs are baby hearing <laughs> and it says that it has a faux scalp in it i don't like the faux scalp so i'm definitely gonna cut that out but my last thing before we get back into um hooking this wig up you remember when we were younger and your mama would like flat iron your hair or hot comb your hair and then of course at the end she'd put that hard bump and you'd be like mama please don't bump it baby these ends is bumping i hope you can see i hope you can tell but they are bump 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 like bumping so let me go get my flat iron because child i'm not about to do that <laughs> So here I'm finishing up cutting the hair into a bob. I already have a video on how I cut a wig into a bob. I'll put it up in the cards and I'll also link it in the description box below. But with this particular bang, or with this particular wig, I wanted a bang. Um, I also want, knew that I wanted to be able to tuck some hair behind my ear. And I also knew I wanted the bang to be kind of face framing. So I parted the hair in a triangle form, cut, and then I pulled off or pulled out some of the sides why can't I talk <laughs> I pulled out some of the sides and then for the middle part which will be the actual bang bang portion I should have probably cut below my nose just to start off but I did go ahead and cut right in between my nose and at first I thought I had messed up but just keep watching and trust the process Here I'm just taking my curling iron and just kind of rubbing it on the top to try to flatten the top. And then later I'll also take the same curling iron and kind of bump the um, bang just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. I didn't show this part, but later on I did just go ahead and cut off the lace like normal. I didn't use any God to be or anything like that. I just cut the lace straight off. Okay, so let's talk about Miss Danita from Outre. It says that it has a real scalp illusion, reduced lace grid lines, a fully hand tied 13 by 4 frontal, ear to ear soft HD transparent lace, pre plucked hairline with natural baby hairs, comes with pre attached elastic band, and heat styling friendly. Um, the real scalp illusion, I hate that little stocking cap that they put in there. <laughs> 
So I always cut mine out. Now I will say this time I got a little bit beside myself and I went to cutting and when I cut, I actually ripped some of the lace because I was like cutting and tearing. I was just like, I just want this off. And I messed around and I actually tore some of the lace. So be careful if you choose to do that. Luckily, I, I decided to style the hair this way. So you really can't tell that I cut it so or not cut it um ripped it so yeah um the reduced lace grid lines I feel like they do have pretty small grid lines like it does look scalp like to me once I put my powder in which then brings us to the um whole ear to ear soft HD transparent lace and the 13 by 4 frontal now I will say that the perfect hairline and the melted hairline collections for me personally they always do feel 13 by 4 ish um the only reason why I feel like this one isn't going all the way down to ear to ear all the way down to yeah all the way down ear to ear is because um I don't have my hair braided straight back this go around I actually have it in twists so they're a lot fluffier and thicker so my wig isn't gonna lay or my wigs aren't going to lay as flat as they typically do with the whole soft transparent lace now like I said in my last video um I don't think any synthetic company has actual transparent lace but what I will say about Altrace is that as long as I put my bronzer powder down then I'm good to go I put that down and I usually use um I don't know where it's at but my got to be spray and a little stretchy elastic band and that helps melt it down so nicely comes with a pre-attached elastic band you saw that in clips earlier and the heat styling friendly now the heat styling friendly I'm kind of on the fence about it and I'm kind of on the fence about it because it is going to change the texture of it like I feel like it made it like a little bit shinier and stuff like that and stuff like that I feel like it made it a little bit shinier and of course straightened it a bit but I did run a flat iron through the back and this was <laughs> this is before I went and ate and when I came back it didn't seem stiff but it wasn't it didn't have as much movement as the rest of the hair did before um, once I played with it, it kind of came back to life, but I don't know. Maybe I had my heat up too high on my um, flat iron, but that was just me personally. I think the color of this is so beautiful. Like, at first I was like, oh, it's not giving me ginger brown. It's still kind of not giving me ginger brown, but, or no. I guess when I think of ginger, I think of more orange -ish. and it's definitely give me a reddish brown but I don't know I still think it's cute nonetheless I'm happy with how I chose to style this because the original style of it it was giving me higher up in age I feel like it just made me look a little bit older than what I actually am and so I don't know I just felt like it just wasn't doing it for me I ain't gonna lie the original style was not doing it for me so therefore I knew when I bought this wig or when I put this wig on that I wanted to cut it and I knew I wanted to have a bang now that is the part that who took me out because I was really nervous and scared like for some reason like most of the time I don't care I'll just cut the hair it, it's a wig who cares but for some reason I was like really nervous about cutting this one do I think I did the best of best jobs no but I think I think she came out cute again I did not use God to be so therefore if I chose to do a little ear tuck you can see the line but I'm pretty sure if I um either use glue or if I use God to be then it be seamless like the rest of them the hair does seem to move nicely um and i think with this style i think she would be cute up i think she's cute down i don't think i can put it in a bun um but i do think i liked i liked her i like her a little bit tousled i don't know 
If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave. And also make sure you click the bell. That way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow your girl on Instagram at Tan Dotson. My TikTok is also at Tan Dotson. Um, go ahead and like, comment, share. Definitely comment because I pretty much respond to almost every comment that I get. I think if I don't respond, it's typically because it's one of those like... You can just tell it's a bot or something like that but i talk back so feel free to leave me a comment down below and i guess i will stop rambling now and stop playing in this hair and i will see you on the next one bye